So if the obstacle is completely off screen, we're basically gonna remove the obstacle from existence. It's, it's just gone. It's, it will be deleted. And then we also need to call this function. So scroll scene. Now let's just move this word move uh, right here. Because it's just better to just do all of the calculation and then move the bird. Because come on, why not? Let's run and see what we have. Oops looks good but it's kind of fast so we gotta do some tweaking people also just got a small error while tweaking things which is we need to do this all right so what it basically was doing is that it was deducting width from the obstacle to x position I'm, I'm really i don't know how i didn't cast that but it was basically de deducting the width from the obstacle to exposition and checking if, we, if, if it was less than zero which actually happened more quickly than simply exposition would be basically i just messed up a little bit in here i'm gonna explain this later on all right uh, tweaking and everything done now all the values feel really good uh let me just show that to you so, well, where did it go? Oops, there we go. Didn't lose there somehow. Oh, wait, yeah, we, we have to code what will happen if the player loses. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, you can see that it's 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 feeling good, okay? It's, it's feeling great to play. Now, all we need to do is just add a check if the person, uh, if the bird has dead, died. If the player dies, we are basically gonna just quit the entire window because I don't know why not. So you're gonna do define check for death and then we're going to get the obstacles list. So obstacles. Then we're gonna check for obstacle in obstacles because if bird dot body because remember the bird's body is just a rectangle right it's a, it's a pi game rectangle class or object so it also has a pi game exclusive or let's just say a, rect a function that all of the rectangles in pi game have it just collide rect now what this checks is that it checks if this rectangle is colliding with the rectangle that you put in here so i'm gonna put the right this um, I'm just gonna put in obstacles in here. So it's basically gonna check if the bird's body's rectangle is is colliding with the obstacle, and both of these are rectangles. So I'm you have used collide rect. Since this is rectangle two, anyway. So if both of them are meeting or if they are in collision, we're gonna do my game dot go ahead. Exit, it will basically exit my game completely, right? It will shut down my game. Seems done. We just need to, you know, call the function in here. And uh, the obstacles we equals to manager dot obstacles list. And let's check what we have in here. It should be pretty much ready. Then I forgot to close this bracket, this append bracket. Perhaps I deleted it somehow while tweaking. I don't, I don't know. It, it just wasn't there. So anyway, let's just check now. It should finally run. The problem is we passed obstacle when the argument name was obstacles. Yeah, just a typo basically. And let's see if we are dying properly. So that's pretty much it. Now I think the only thing I think I should do now is make it not run if the person has not started like if the person hasn't pressed anything yet because sometimes it happens that the game starts and the person doesn't know it is running in the background and the player just dies it's not a big thing but it, it, it may it brings a lot of frustration when it happens again and again so i'm just gonna put a variable which is uh game resumed uh is equals to false and then i'm going to do in here when the person presses space I'm gonna do game resume is equals to true and then the, remember this is all of the call calculation parts right everything moves just because these lines exist so what I will do is that I'm gonna do if game resume 
only then it will do all of the calculations that's it because the other part is just checking for input and drawing stuff which you don't which doesn't really change the calculations and the moments just put these these are the ones which are calculating everything so I'm just gonna do if game is resumed only then it's gonna calculate everything so let's try to run the terminal And you can see it just stood static there waiting for me to press the start button only then it started so it's looking good now we have flappy bird uh, weird knockoff but wait there's one more thing you remember that the the obstacles list only contains the bottom rectangle the above rectangle is basically drawn separately like right, externally so the problem is that because it's a drawn externally we did not add the check to check if the above obstacle is colliding with the flappy bird or flappy rectangle so you can see i can just pass right through those so it's not much of a deal i'm just gonna copy this whole thing and i'm gonna add this into the place where it checks for death or there we go this is pretty much it so if the bird is colliding with a obstacle or bird dot body dot collide rect with this new rectangle which is basically the above rectangle all right we basically have finished everything now you can basically run it and it should work properly there we go it waited for us just press space and let's see how far i can go yep i died because of touching the above rectangle so that's pretty much it this is the flappy bird in python using my game and it's done we, we finished it and this is literally all the code i'm going to provide this entire code in the description of this video if you want it so yeah enjoy and if this was helpful or somehow if this was entertaining to you please forget uh, don't forget to like obviously and also subscribe to me because that helps my channel grow because come on youtube algorithm please promote my content anyway thanks for watching if you made it to the end of this video and did not click off well then thank you thank you for not clicking off and thank you for enjoying my content bye i will see you later in my next video